Hi guys, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm here to share a little experience and I want you to think how do I relate that little story of mine to what we have to learn. So a few years ago, a long time ago actually, I was having a hard time reading, reading a book, reading a note, you know, what I was writing a notebook, even reading the text messages on my phone. And I caught myself changing the font of the phone to make the letters bigger. And I was making bigger and bigger and that wasn't really helping me. So I thought, I guess it's time for me to see a doctor. And when I went to the doctor, the doctor told me that I do need glasses to see from near and also from far away. So that reminds me of faith because we do need something to be able to see it, right? So it's like putting blind trust in something. But faith is not blind. Faith is when you trust in something that you know. For example, we trust in Jesus because we know about the people that experience a life with him. So this month, we're going to learn how to be focused on what we know. And this week specifically, we're going to talk about faith. So stay tuned. Julie has a story to tell us and she brought very cool things to show us. I hope you like it. Bye. Good morning, guys. I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy that I'm able to be talking with you guys and just know that I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to hug every single one of you uh, when we finally do get back to church, everyone together. So this week, I learned so much about faith and I'm here to teach you guys a little bit about it because I don't know, do you guys know about faith? I know that I learned a lot because I didn't really know that much about faith either. But it's okay when we don't know because then that means that we can learn more. So this week, we're learning about faith and how to put it in action. And we're learning about people that put their faith in action. So I'm going to do a little experiment with you guys. So let's do this. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to jump on one foot, not right now, not right now, in a little bit. So these are the directions. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna get ready, and you have to try to jump for five seconds on only one foot. If you can jump on one foot for five seconds, you're gonna get a big prize when we get back to church. When we get back to church, you guys, I'm gonna bring little prizes for all of you guys okay for all the people that could do that could do the challenge so ready I want you to guys you guys to jump on one foot okay ready one two three four five did you guys do it Yay! I hope you guys did it because then when we get back to church you guys are gonna get a prize so, now that the challenge is over, if you did the challenge, that means that you had faith. Because even though I didn't tell you what the prize was, and I didn't show you what the prize was, you have no idea what the prize is. You don't know if it's a big prize, if it's a little prize, you don't know. But you still did the challenge, and you had faith, and you believed that when we get back to church, I would give you a prize. So the same thing happened to Abraham. So guys, when I was little, I used to love to play with Smurfs. Do you guys know what that is? Smurfs are these little blue people over here. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. But let's pretend that this is Abraham and this is Sarah. So God told Abraham that if he trusted in God, and followed him to the promised land, God would eventually give the land to Abraham. God promised Abraham a bunch of land. He also promised Abraham that Sarah, who couldn't have any children, 
would eventually have a son, which is a miracle. So Abraham believed in God, had faith in God, and trusted God, and went all the way to the promised land, a land that he didn't even know. Imagine going someplace that you don't know, like seeing people that you don't know, there could be strangers, there could be animals that you don't know that like could hurt you. Abra Abraham put his life at risk with his wife Sarah, but he did it anyways because he had faith in God and he trusted that eventually whatever he did, God would protect him. So guys, this shows the experiment that I did with you and Abraham and Sarah their story, it shows that faith, it pays off. And that faith is believing in something even though sometimes you don't see it. Because when I told you guys that you guys would get a, a prize, you didn't know what it was. And the same way that Abraham didn't know if God was actually going to give him the promised land and that Sarah would have a child. He didn't know that for sure. He didn't know 100% that that would happen. He was doing it by faith because even even though he couldn't see God, he could hear God and he could feel God in his heart. So he had faith and he believed in God and he believed that whatever God said was going to come true. So guys, that is our story for this week. I hope you learned about faith. And remember, when we get back to church, you'll get your little prize for doing a good job listening and for doing the challenge. I miss you guys. Hey everyone, today's story was about faith. In Hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 and chapter 12 verses 3, we saw that we can trust God even though we don't have all the answers or know exactly how God is leading. We need always to look forth in faith through Jesus Christ. Faith is being the things that we're hoping for and the things that we cannot see. Amen. Let's now pray. Dear God, we cannot see you, Lord, but we trust that you were there. We trust that you hold the world in the palm of your hands. Help us, Lord, to live every day with this perspective. Help us understand that faith is found in the small actions of kinds that we make. When we comfort the grieving, when we give help to the homeless, we are now, Lord, declaring your victories in your lives always. In Jesus' name, Amen. And remember, guys, we can trust God no matter what. Bye!